we're live. Now you're gonna see, start seeing people added, right? Here we go. All right, so James Mooney here with Marquis Standard. And Marquise is now our new league coordinator for Westchester. So we want to get to know a little bit about Marquise. You guys, if you have any questions for us, feel free to ask us a question. All right? So let's start off. Marquise, where are you from? Born and raised. Born and raised right here in White Plains, New York. I love it. This is my city. Where did you go to high school? Went to high school at White Plains High School. Something and simple right here. Did you go to college? I did. I went to, I went to WCC, Westchester Community College. I graduated from there. I got my associate's degree. And right now I'm working. About to go back to school and get my uh, master's. All right. So, Marquise, talk to me a little bit right now. So, how did you learn about Lifetime? And then ultimately, how did you learn about Ultimate Hoops? I learned about the Lifetime from actually a friend referred it to me. And once I found out that they had a basketball league, I had to jump on it right away because basketball is something that I love. I have a passion for it. So I'm like, there's a basketball league. I like, if I could get involved in it, this is going to mean so much more for my future as well. So found out about the league, got involved in it, and here I am now, league coordinator. So what was your original position coming in uh, with Ultimate Hoops? I started out just starting out doing the simple stats, keeping stats for the games, uh, doing the scoreboard, stuff that was simple. And over the over the uh, months, I just I guess gained trust and saw how things worked differently behind the behind the scenes and worked my way up. So now, just so everyone knows, the reason why Marquise was basing my choice for right now, and he's an intern, so he's going through the fire a little bit. We're gonna see if he can handle the position. If he does, he's more than welcome to have the position. The reason why I went to Marquise when we lost our league coordinator was because Marquise has been with us from day one. He's always been here on time, does his stats accurately. No matter what guys say, oh, stats are never accurate. Marquise standard, they're up to standard, all right? Those stats are on point. But what I ultimately loved about Marquise was his passion for ultimate hoops. So, Marquise... Talk to me about your passion for Ultimate Hoops. Ultimate Hoops to me is just it's something that I never thought that I could even get into, but the fact that it gives people the real life experience of being, I guess, an NBA player, you're getting everything, the interviews, the videos, pictures, your stats online, you could go home to your friends and brag about it. It's just something to me, it's just like, you don't see that every day at a normal gym at a, YCM, a YMCA or a sports club. You don't see these type of things. So for me to be involved in something like Ultimate Hoops and to really get deep into it, it means a lot to me. And I love the game of basketball. So to be this close to the, to the game of basketball, doing something that I love, being around something that I love, it doesn't feel like work to me. It's, it's just something I love to do. So... What is your favorite aspect of Ultimate Hoops? Is it our stats? Is it our articles? Is it the interviews? Is it the games, the competition? What is it exactly about Ultimate Hoops that you love? One thing I could definitely say that I love is definitely, like you said, the competition. Seeing that guys are actually really taking this seriously as if they're really getting paid to be out there on the court, even though it's a simple pickup game, they have the jerseys, everything looks organized, but they're taking it seriously. It's not just a lack of day school game. People running up and down, everybody laughing on the court. They take this seriously. If you mess up anything, they are on it. They take this game so seriously. And I love it because their passion, it shows to me that they love it. So I love it. So it's just, I get, I get the NBA type feel where they're running up and down. I get the feel of actually watching a professional game and I'm not paying anything. Great points. So let's end it with this. Um, you are now the interim league coordinator. It's not official yet. If you are a point league coordinator, even now as your position as league coordinator interim, what do you bring to the table that maybe no other league coordinator has? You as league coordinator in Westchester, what are you going to bring to the table? Is it your photo uh, photography skills? Is it your video? 
uh, scales like a corn, saying what up. <laughs> corn, if you have any questions from Marquise, let us know. We're here to answer any questions to learn more about Marquise. But before we get to your question, again, I'll bring it back to you, Marquise. What do you bring to the table that separates you from any other league coordinator? I'm trying to bring everything. I'm trying to add more teams to the league. I'm trying to bring the competition up, have people, people make people know about this league, try and get so many different ideas that'll make more people want to join, not even just Lifetime, but join the Ultimate Hoops because it is something amazing that we have going on right here. And I would love to see it grow in the future and to know that I'm in control of one of the leagues or I have the power to essentially put my ideas out there. It's something that I love to do, and I just want to make it happen and see it build up, and I can know that these things happen because of me. Make a change in the world. So we're going to open it up to you guys now. Corin, whoever, what are your questions? Oh, here we go. Bands with the players is vital. You comfortable interacting with everyone? I am comfortable interacting with people any, anywhere, anytime. I could talk to anybody, how, no matter how old they are, how young they are. I can relate to anybody, so it doesn't matter to me. Yep, bad players too. I love to go talk to the bad players. Keep them motivated. Of course, when you talk smack to them, it makes that motivates anybody. Whether you can talk smack or just tell them, don't get down. You miss a couple of shots, keep shooting. They need you out there on the floor. You're the best player. Keep going. Doesn't matter if it's a bad team. Make yourself the best player. So as you can see, Corn, you remember Corn. Corn was our lead coordinator in New York. Now he's the regional coordinator in Chicago, asking questions. So I got to ask you, Corn. do you think Marquise, now Marquise was a statistician for you, do you think Marquise will be a good fit for us? Do you think he's going to bring that same passion and same smack talk that you had? Feel free to type away, Corn. I know he's typing away. He's probably typing up a whole paragraph knowing him. Always has something to say, Corn. every week. Absolutely. Munch, Munch was ready to punch you in the face because you would <laughs> not stop talking. It was funny to see, man. Progression has been great. It's Absolutely. Nice. So, Corn, you have any other questions? Anyone else out there? Any other questions to learn more about Marquise? We start our season when? November 15th. November? I'm sorry, October 15th. <laughs> this, this guy's already jumping the gun, man. We haven't even started. We're not even, we're, we're only in the second week of October. He's talking about November. So, yes, fill us in with league information for Westchester if you can. Uh, let's see, starting October 15th. How many teams we got? We have six teams right now. Six teams going. We're going to try to get, if hopefully, for the next season or upcoming, maybe we can add more teams this season. We never know. We're going to try to build on it, add more teams to it see the league grow, see more competition come in, make more people want to join. And it's going to be a fun season. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Last question. Predictions. Corn and I did it all the time. Who's going to win it this fall? They have, honestly, they have only let me down twice, so I'm going to have to roll with them again. It's Massa. Yes, I said it. Massa Coastal. I, I, I have them. They, they never let me down. They let me down twice. Uh, three times, sorry. But still, that's my team. I roll with them. Brett Axelrod certainly might slice him and break my back because he's my chiropractor. So, James Mooney signing off with... Marquis Standard. Stay tuned. We have a lot going on. UHLife.com. Visit us. Get all our information. Follow us on Facebook, our Ultimate Hoops page. We also have an Ultimate Hoops Northeast group page. So if you want to stay in the know of everything league-wise, training-wise, pickup games, events, anything regarding Ultimate Hoops in the Northeast, go to that page. You'll be filled in with everything you need. Marquise, any last words? Let's get the season started. I'm ready to see some basketball. I'm ready to see people go at it. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. Hope you got to meet Marquise Standard. Follow us on uhlife.com. For more articles, stats, videos, the whole bit, and to see more of Marquise. Peace.